Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Today we're going to do the tutorial for course volume analysis in which one of the method that used to determine the best location for the new plan okay, or the new factory in the plan location topic. So these are the question. Okay, it, uh, the question said that the meal workshop making doors and then they are planning for a new plan and then these are the demand uh, the forecast demand for next year is going to be 65,000 and they have three locations that they considered and then they give us information on the fixed cost fixed cost is on the land building okay, on the structure itself and then we have variable cost in which it means the material labor overhead cost for making uh, one unit for this case one door in location A, it costs about 26 ringgit, okay, and so on. Okay, so for the first uh, step is to get the total cost equation for the three location. So the total cost uh, formula is the fixed cost plus variable cost times the quantity. Okay? So these are the information that we have. So we need to define PC equation for A, B, and C. So for A is Fixed cost is 700,000 plus 26Q, and then for TCB, we have fixed cost 900,000 plus 18Q. For TCC, we have 1,200,000 plus 15Q. Okay, once we have all the three uh, equations, we need to uh, find a crossover. First, we need to find a crossover for A and B, in which we need to equal the TCA equal to TCB. A is our equation and we need to solve for the Q. So for this uh, crossover, we have 25,000. And then for crossover B and C, okay, so we have TCB equal to TCC, we have the equation, and then we solve for Q, we have 100,000. And don't forget, we need to find the crossover for A and C. So it's TCA equal to TCC, then this is our equation, and then we solve for Q, we have 45,455. Remember, we have calculated for the cost of A and B, B and C, and now A and C. So, from the answer, Q, so we have, so we have the range of uh, Q starting from 25,000, and then we have uh, 45, 455, and the maximum one is 100,000. So, we need this information to plot in the graph paper. So, this is our graph paper with the X axis is the Q quantity and the y axis is the total cost in RM. Okay, so we need to find the range for the Q. So since we have calculated the crossover point, so minimum is zero and then we have up to maximum 100,000. But we need to, to get a bit more, okay, we don't stop at 100,000 because the crossover is going to happen at 100,000. So we need to add a bit more, okay, we have to stretch out the Q so that we set as at 110,000 okay so here so we start from 10 okay 10 20 30 40 up to 110 okay so we're done with the x-axis now we're going to go for the y-axis so the y-axis we also need to determine what is the maximum tc that we're going to plot here okay so for tc total cost we need to set um the Q first, okay. So for this case, since our maximum Q is hundred thousand, so I will set definitely Q is zero, okay. And then I need a midpoint. I need a midpoint so that I can have three points, so I can have a very straight line, okay, uh, through the three points. So in the middle, I just take a round number fifty thousand. It's very easy, okay. So for TCA, we will do for TCA first. This are the equation. So when Q0, we put in uh, the Q here, so we have 700,000. And then when Q500,000, sorry, 50,000, so we plug in Q here, so we have 2 million. And then when Q100,000, the total cost for uh, A is 3.3 3 million. So we're going to do for TCB, A, the same 3 point. And then we're going to do the for TCC, the same 3 point. And then from this, all the TC here, we need to find the maximum TC. So from my observation, the maximum TC is 3.3 million. Okay? So I will make sure that my, ex my axis will cover up to 
3.3 million. So we go back to our graph. So uh, since 3.3, so I will set uh, more than 3.3 million. So it's going to be 3.5 should be enough. So I set for 500,000, 1 million, 1 1.5, 2, 2.5, 3, and 3.5. So 3.3 should be somewhere here. Okay. So now I'm done with my uh, x axis and y axis. Now I'm going to plot. Okay. To plot a graph, remember that this one is calculation for TCA when we set Q at 3 point. So the first one when Q0, TCA is 700,000. So it's about here. And the second one when Q50,000. So it's going to be 2 million. So 50,000. And then 2 million is here. And then the third point is 3.3 million 400,000. So I go 400,000. 2, 2.5, 3, and then, yeah, it's about 3.3. .3. So when I have three lines, I will draw, I will draw a straight line okay, through all the points. Okay, now I'm going to do for TCB. So TCA is the red color. So I'm going to do TCB with the black color. So this is the calculation for TCB when Q0, Q50,000, and Q100,000. Again, do the same process. So when Q0, TCP is 900,000, it's here. And then for 50,000 Q, it's about 1.8 million. So 1 million, 1 1.5678, and then 1 point here. And then for the 100,000 Q, so going to be 2.7, so 1 million, 2, 2.567. So these are the three points that I plot, okay? And then what I have to do, I have to draw the straight line through all the points. So the TCB represents the black color. So I need to do for TCC. So you need to do for TCC. I'm not going to show here. So I, when I plot all the point and line, I will get three lines. Okay. Each represent the A, B, and C. So next step is I want to, to check whether the three crossover is existed in my graph. Okay. The first one at 25 is around here, 1, you get 1, and then the second one is 45, about 45, 500, about here, 45, about here, okay. And then one, uh, we just estimate, eh? yeah, sometimes it's not really exact, but it's about at the 45 plus. And then the last one is 100,000, so 100,000 should have 1. Okay, now, so we are in the good uh, condition here in which we have all the three crossover points that we calculated before. It's, uh, we have, it has shown in our graph. Okay, next, we want to do the borderline. Okay, draw the borderline. We have to check the three crossover, the validity. So the first one is considered as a valid because there's no line under the crossover. Okay, look at the second one. So we can draw the borderline here for this crossover. So draw a line, okay, until the x-axis. Uh, and then the second one, remember this one? So from this case, it is not a valid uh, crossover because there's a line under it. So we cannot draw any borderline here. So we move to the third one here. And since there's no line under it, so we can draw a borderline okay, straight to the X axis. So now we have two borderline, and now we want to know which uh, location belong to the three area here. Okay. So how to determine which location for the area? First, we look at this one. Okay. So name the area within the border. Choose the lowest line in the area. So for area number one, the lowest line is the red color. So red color here is TCA. So this area belongs to TCA. And then for this area, okay, we look at the lowest line here is the black color. Black color belongs to TCB. So this area going to be belong to TCB. And for this area, we can see that the blue line is the lowest line in this area. So TCC belong to blue color. So this one is area for TCC. Okay, now we have already know uh, these three area belong to which location. Okay. Next, we want to, to write the range. 
uh, or the summary on this uh, graph. Okay. Since the only two crossover that valid is at 25,000 and 100,000, so the range for A, we will do for A first. Location A is something less than 25,000. So this one is the uh the area the area that covered okay less than twenty five thousand is to area belong to area A to location A and then for the B okay the B is stretched from here to here in which twenty five thousand to hundred thousand so we're gonna write like this so anything is more than twenty five thousand and less than hundred thousand is belong to location B, and finally for the C, it's anything more than hundred thousand is uh, should be suitable in location C. So once we get this range, then we look back at our question. The question was sixty five thousand. So sixty five thousand is somewhere here. So we can say that look for sixty five thousand unit dollars per year. Location B is the best is suitable okay so what this graph tell you it can change let's say if you have a, a forecast demand for 150,000 so you don't have to do the calculation you just look at the graph 150,000 fall under this more uh, under area C so what you can say that location C is the most suitable for 150,000 and let's say if the uh, forecast for next year is not doing very well, so they said about about fifteen thousand. So from this graph, you just look okay, fifteen thousand around here. So you can conclude that for fifteen thousand unit door per year, location A is the suitable one. So it depends on your uh, annual demand that you forecast. So it can be range from location A, B, or C. So I hope you understand my explanation from define the TC until we had the range and then we can answer the question uh, for the course volume analysis, right? So thank you.